let's see if this is gonna work with me or against me right now. Is it working with me? I hope to God it is. It seems like it's working with me. So, hello everyone, it's your boy Bloody Fan 101. Back from Dead Time, we're playing Mafia 1. I've been playing a lot of Mafia 3 recently. And I remembered I had Mafia 1. Fish in. Fish in regular. Yeah, it's all. I don't really mess with nothing. Yeah, whatever, let's go. I wanted to play the first and second game because I was enjoying Mafia 3 so much. And I heard this fourth game coming out, so I might as well finish off the others before I play the newest one. Remaster the original, but god damn, that shit looks crisp. Subtitles on in case they weren't already on, but I guess turn on a bit. Sue you for that. Oh. Don Morello. Morello. Hold my tongue here, I didn't need to. Detective Norman. Child's already on. Perfect. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any, uh, associates. 
Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. Ah, but you can't refuse. Both those guys are running some hella deals right now. The detective really knows his shit, though. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Scream, classic. I love it. Watch out! Get up, Polly! There's a taxi here! We'll be okay! Move it! Come on! We're through. Anywhere. Fast! Sounds like a deal. I got a gun pointed at you! They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. We're gonna try some. Let's fucking go. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, uh, okay. What do you do? Lay it way up there. It hurts like hell. You can't dress like a can in the three I don't know. It might be okay. Just get in the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. I'm working on it, so stop yapping. To the bridge. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. 
I gotta know what the fucking drive you dip shit. Oh, I'm selling for someone. So what are these? Is that just... We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Ah, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. We can make yeah. it. Yeah. So we don't have what to. What are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Ah, oh, yeah. I y'all could've made that bunch of fansies. Going a little Italy. I didn't see this coming. Oh. You think he squealed? Drive a little Italy. It tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Y'all buy me a drink? For all the trouble? Now, is that my health in the bottom left, or is that the car's health? Pull over in front of that bar. It's the Aries place. Yeah, that's the one. I'm a regular. I make myself stupid all the time. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Oh shit, would have mind a bit of money. I have another one, buddy. You gotta need it. Not like you live long enough to smoke to get you anyways. And I don't want no trouble, boys. You try to cat me? Don't do it. Hey man, help your boys out. You do me dirty like this, I will. I will take you all out. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything. Maybe a loan, or some honest work. Don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Oh shit, why would I say anyone? Anyone asks where you got that money, you wanted a poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved. Keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. Real interesting that we had, eh? Oh, Tommy boy, Tommy boy. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but 
I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. What happened though, Tommy? So something had to happen. Come on, what happened, Tommy? Let me in on the secret, why don't you? I'm dying to know. Absolutely dying to know. A running man. Same year, same problem. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Where to, ma'am? So, where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. St. Michael's Church, right careful, away, ma'am. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Speeding over here. Oh, so you don't want me going too fast. Oh, that's cool. Should they have this three? Fuck, like I know. I right, put me in this situation so, here. Church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. You know. I'm Nation Nick is in a twist, love. Trying to make small talk. Gotta leave some room for the trolley, you know? Don't wanna get run over by the big machines. There's the trolley now. Look, it's going the other way, not towards us. Hey, it's competition. I'm about to take you out. We only have like two guys in this town. I don't like you. You turning this way? Cool. Oh, get off, man. There you are. There you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. You must have paid the money at least. These Italians are all the same. Hi. Can't drive without the radio. Better find a new fare. I don't know if I need Scott for it, I guess I'll find out. Is that white square fair? Holy two cents! Holy two cents! Hey, you need a cab, buddy? Hop on in. And where to, Bucko? Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick, I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Ah, I see you happen to be a douche. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. Oh, right? You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, I get you. 
something up your ass that ain't too friendly. Righty. Oh, should I still have that on? Ooh. Hopefully I can still get there in time. Seems like it's not too far off, but... Could have been. But you can't... Looks like the cops want to work with you, pal. But I stopped. Okay. Hello? Is that me? Okay, I was just waiting. Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Jumping, jeez. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. All right. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy I mean, day is gonna be looking at old paintings. I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, right. maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Thank y'all that and a bag of chips. Your soggy sandwich and a fucking cold drink. And sad. Dang it, you see no one just hopping up in my fucking way. Makes it a hell of a lot easier to drive. Oh, I really cut the fucking bill on this one. Pull up in front of the gallery. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. There's 50 cents. I'll spend it all at once. I'll try not to. I'll try not to. Fifty whole cents, my lord. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. On to the next. We got them. Officers report they're closing in. Oh, suck me, arse. Really? I can't just like get away from the Okay. Thought I could like, you know, if I got away it'd be fine, but now the second they're like, no, I get this guy. I guess I'm not a criminal yet, I should follow the law. Well, whoops it is, I guess. I don't know why, but everyone today is a real douche. You gonna be an asshole too, my guy? You're gonna be alright. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. Back if I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Uh, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Well, you better pay at least. Can't see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. 
If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Is that right, buddy boy? Well, that don't surprise me. If the Dons are running around getting stuff done, then these cops that are all greased up and uh, ready to split the scene. I mean, 30 cents, 50 cents, I almost made a whole dollar. Everything's dirt cheap after the crash. I get myself something nice to eat. Maybe half a can of fucking tuna. The worst part of the drunk guy is a nice one. has a coffee stand around a corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. I hope you have a nice night, bud. You were the nicest person I had all day. Only one that wasn't a piece of shit. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Fuck me, I remember you. Yeah. I don't remember none. What the fuck? Huh? You don't want to fucking Mr. Morello's get all my face. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. I'ma fuck y'all up. Oh, I'ma fuck y'all up. Oh shit, they're firing. You motherfucker, I got no goddamn gun. Fuck you, talk. Ow. Out of my way, I'm getting shot at. Fuck off all of you. I lost my head. It was a nice head. You brought it, Tommy. That's why I'm trying to find me just because I'm a cabbie. Oh shit. I'm on the way. Trust me. I ain't stick I don't plan to stick around none. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. What well, is he is the Don's favorite driver? So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Yeah, right. Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Polly. Oh, okay. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Sam and Polly, y'all some right, badass motherfuckers. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Well, damn, boys. You had my thanks, now you got my appreciation. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble. 
Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. Oh. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. I sure you know do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. Ooh. Getting tied up. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Oh, Polly. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished Bro. yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's hey, the new Carla. guy? Cabby, we're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss. You're good with Paul, nah, but that don't mean you're good with me or anyone else. I, I got it. I got it. I knew there's gonna be issues. Find anything good? Yeah, I, I don't get what his problem is. With I'm Paul. watching you. What do you think I got to do to? I get it. God damn, I was reading a letter. Man, don't need to be like this. Where should he stay? Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's Frank he doing? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough. Oh, that sounds like a good idea to me. Set that fucking place on fire. My fuck is messing with me just because I drove somebody on my cab. What else am I going to do besides drive? I'm going over Tunzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's going to sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Oh, we're having some fun. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Good Let to me meet know you if too. Tom gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Ah, oh, is that right, Vincenzo? All right, Polly, let's go fuck some shit up. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. A good old grease monkey. Everyone needs one. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> oh, Ralphie. We ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? 
Sh -sh -sh show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. All right. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. Well, the way we can do Storrel. He wasn't even, he was literally working. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. 20 years ago. I know ago. Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can. So, hey, I'll let you go. Was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. Oh, you guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. Right? So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. We we'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Boss, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just I the mean... booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. Games they got in these places, best tables, oh, yes, best sir. Food, best skirt, some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. I'm trying to rope you in, Tom. Oh, this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine. Try not to let them see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. Is that Big Al from the Ratchet and Clank series? Am I crazy? <laughs> I'll have to look into that later. But yeah. Ralph's gonna stab us in the back if Polly keeps fucking dogging on him like that. The fact that he stops starting when he threatened to cut the brakes, I think he's just pretending to be an idiot. So he might actually be a rat. Or a traitor, I mean. I mean I'm hoping not, but you never know. Some of these cars, that wheel on the back was actually a parallel park because you can stop using some of your wheels and use that one to turn. Turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town. You start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay. You have like a gangster third sense. Just to get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah. Just time to fuck some shit up. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. My fault. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, schmuck. over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Sounds good to me, Polly. Where are you coming with? To see if you get shot. I got shot on the way in. Okay. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Jobs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his name, guys. He'll get there someday. 
Okay, so we're taking that boy out. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. What's up, Ollie? Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. We won't get it distracted. It's my best thing. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to get took out of here. Dino. Dino told him. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you card the cars? Listen, fella, who are you? <laughs> yeah, how about the one that you out? Okay, so what do I what do I do? Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Grenade, holstered gun, Molotov's bat. Oh, it's there. Faces is gonna be priceless. Oh crap! What? Get away from the car! I'll knock it down, Tom! Oh. You got some kind of death wish? Hmm? What the fuck? Okay, so it's not hit it on the circle, let's just hit it. Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some flames! Yeet. Yeah, you got that nice and good. Yeet! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Love the smell of burning. Yeah, Morello's crew would have heard that. Whole block yeah. heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Of burning vehicle Mash the window, and, the window and we can take it. Hey, look. It's right here, Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Don't bring in the wrong people. ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the ball shows! Don't let him get away! Drive! Drive! I'm going, I'm going. Oh! Ah, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. Well, let's not get them real pissed. Yeah, one issue at a time, you know. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? Oh, well, he was right behind me. What was I supposed to do? I'll deal with him in a minute. This is basically the same thing as my cab. We lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose and drive safe. They're still looking for us. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? I can't just disappear like magic, you see. I can easily lose control from my character. There's one over there, don't go that way. We're almost in the clear. Almost. Okay, so don't think we don't say anything too long. I the boss. I thought Salieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Oh, I see how it is now. So I ain't doing on the wooden side. Of what field? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. Think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just 
just asking questions. questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. Oh, okay. So There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. Nah, that's I'm good a with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Okay, no more audio? Okay, cool. Hey Ralph, we're back, buddy. Look who we stole. Well, well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A, a, a better car with a, a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. You okay, Ralph? I'm telling you, if y'all keep treating him like shit, he's gonna turn on us and I won't even be... I won't even be able to blame him. And we could have stole the other one card too. A lot of boys back here. Hey, yeah, still boss. with you then. Somehow, yeah. What's that say? Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Uh, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello... He's a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Ooh. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. Yes, sir. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? What is it, Miss Salieri? Loyalty? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tom. You abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. 
Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Oh, shit. Simple as that. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi! Let's see. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Maron. Molotov party. We, we scrapped some of Morello's boys. Don't know if that guy kicking <laughs> that I need in the face is going to get up anytime soon. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You Tommy? Come on, this feeling yeah. in your face. Yes, sir. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Alright, boss. What's what's the dealio? You gonna promote me to Capo? Well, I probably gotta get made first. I joined, but I don't know. What's the dealio, boss? And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. All right, boys, we'll let's roll. About a car. Okay, boss. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Oh, I got my own piece. I just to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Somebody up there? I mean, no, you never know. I'm hoping I got at least a piece to keep myself safe. Hey, Vinny. Hey, just the guy. Hey, what's good? I saw this. And I thought of you. Oh, a snub nose. Oh, you make me a happy man. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Up the walls. Now show me a reload. I all open right. the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. Boom. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey. To Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Hi, Vinny. I appreciate that. Let's go talk to our boy, Ralph. And I hope for the love of fuck that Polly stops treating him like an a-hole. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? got at least five garages this side of town. Uh, He's not yeah. wrong, Polly. You guys know it like I know. It's always the same. Hey, Ralphie. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. Hey. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Hey, so now I got a pick. What's this? Oh, Show me what you can do. 
Oh, hold. Okay, it's good car. You got it. Have a good day, Papa Fellas. Can we kill me nice with a Ralph? I, I I don't know why. I just really like Ralph. For First we got out. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Ugh, that's too bad. Father, remember what uh, Frank and the boss said. We ain't here to be breaking legs, and on. It was nice and clean. Simple as that. Traffic's really gonna bite me in the ass in this one. I'm definitely not driving for a crush right here. I heard that goofy ass horn. I'm sorry, I, I cracked it. I ain't going back. So driving's a lot like the third game. Obviously, the vehicle's a little different, but I'll get it. I'll get used to it. Nothing else to do. Brakes work really well, so I gotta get used to that. All right, time to get some money. Okay, this is it. All right, pulling up. You boys get the money. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Oh, I'm hopping out, too. She got her money. Sam, Holly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's well, good to hear, Al. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Bank. Boys and bad Any pumps causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us. But it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without pain? It's at the back of the shop, Tom. History. All right. Where's the I money? Veron, fetcha. Voici succiate in sangue. It's on the table, brown envelope. You gonna complain? I'm sorry, but we have money to pay. Lasciate in pace. I apologize, but money's money. I got it. But... See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your ma. Huh? I know that we want a protection in the racket, but uh, maybe we gotta promote the place a little bit, you know? A little money in, a little money out. Come on, Sam, we gotta go. Where's your next, boys? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taken over. Shit, you know if they say almost, someone being Guy dead. used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Bali slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? So what, three years ago? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Oh, I, he was an old man. We keep some nice. of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Well, I'm hoping not. I'd rather keep things as clean as possible. But I got a, I got a singing feeling Morello and his boys gonna cause some issues for us today, boys. I'm ready to deal with some trouble. 
And then he gave me a piece. I'm learning from some of the best in the business. Feels like a good day today. Not a good day to die, but a good day. Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. As long as he's happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Seems a bit much. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. What the hell did you do, Polly? Break half the inventory? Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. You doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seeing some more blood. How much blood? And yeah, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Polly. Wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> oh, shit. I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> oh, boys when being boys. When Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Ah, uh, these boys are a bunch of jokesters. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, we'll also be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places mm -hmm. that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Well, let's hope that's how it is, because if Morello's from the muscle and the money maker. Anyone else the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. 
That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. Okay. There it Change is. the place we Finally. don't want to go to. I actually this place makes some money. Looking this nice back at this time. Wait yeah. for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. You got them old gas stations like from Gas Station Simulator. Don't do it. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. That's him. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang Oh, on. don't you die on me. Okay, well, i to show y'all what Tommy Angelo can do. Come here and say hi, fuck face. He's there! <laughs> One more! Oh, shit. Help me over here! Shut your ass oh, up, you bitch. Hope we didn't hear that. Silent. I mean, something. So much pain. Damn it. I'm empty. Get in cover. I'm on him. Oh, should we go downstairs? Oh no, oh, yeah, I mean, technically he's downstairs. He's down two whole stairs. God damn. Very dramatic death. The stealth doesn't work. The stealth is not as simple as it is in the third game, that's for sure. Sam, I'm on the way. <laughs> there, see that one counted as a stealth takedown. Tell you what, it was Sammy and me. Next time, he gets the whole shit guard, please. What the fuck? That man's on the crapper. the guy on the shitter. So I'm gonna just leave him on the shitter. I don't see an issue. I see him. Take it cover. Shit. Oh, shit the fuck down, sir. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm hitting. I, oh, I'm hitting. I'm. <laughs> fucking hitting triangle, oh my god. Killed you? Really? Whatever. I'm coming, Sam. Where you at, fucker? Come on, take a peek. Sam, you all good? Sam. Oh, they really good. went to work on you, buddy. Let's go. I'm leaving the boy behind. Uh, come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, fucking duck my ass. What? Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Sam doing that. Tommy doing everything. Where Sam fucking Sam? dying. He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. That's the plan. Oh, you want it? You want it? Shit. Wait, what? what am I trying to save bullets on? I, I only had like 30 shots. Come on, give up. I'm right on your tail. Kind of last forever. Come on. Should have just gave him the money. We just that got crazy and crazy. Cost. What it meant to be on the inside. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. I got a taste of life and they don't want to give it back, huh? It happens. Intermezzo. This is eight years so that's later. that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just don't look. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Damn, I'm really, this is really interesting. I really want to play more, but I should probably cool my jets right now. Ah, oh, that's the first episode. I can, I can indulge a little it. bit. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. 
Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You jam with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills a bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Just beat him to death. You fucking crashed into him. You stopped for a pedestrian and you crashed into him and you beat him to death. Uh. Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, hmm. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. And what were we doing, Donnie? What were you up to with the boys? After that, Polly and Sam were like, Hey, Dom, let me buy you lunch. Give you a little something to eat. Too skinny. Okay, that's two years later when I joined. Tommy, so been... thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Yeah. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? his car? Yeah. That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Not a problem at all. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Does he want to? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. Oh, so drunk. I was 
Brad's sick, not so much. Hey, bona said a time. Hey, Louis. So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. Hey, Ralphie, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right, right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lalo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy... He's an ass. Well, I appreciate the oh, heads up. Hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to uh, know. Is that right? from the third game. Okay, why not I go in this? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is... I, yeah, it even sounds like it, but he's a port this. Oh, fuck it. I got... Oh, God. I might be a little too fast for this for these shirts. Okay, yeah, maybe I ought to get someone a little more tame for these streets. Uh, yeah, I could also just do that. Oh, I didn't realize how low the limit it was. I wish there was like settings, like every 10 or 20. But hey, it's whatever. But I know, it's pretty nice. And it's still ain't off road, just like in the third game. Nobody can tell when it grabs asphalt. You Bobby? You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Hey, buddy, don't need to be like that. I'll pop you. Tomorrow morning, they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a name than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Oh, Bob. My poor guy. I imagine you got some sick shit. Okay, this is it. Alright. Where, uh, where's the car? But where where's the car? Are you buck oh, now you're moving. I mean, worry for a fucking second there. Here she is, 1929 Carazella C Series, best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. No, I, I, I heard. 
So I gotta make, oh god. I gotta make it there and back in that three minutes or just get to the garage. A little damage never hurt nobody. I know shit he was winning the, winning the race with this thing. Our guy's track cart. They're only made for left turns, not right turns. Just me behind the wheels. They are none, you didn't see none. I'm already on. I'm a figment of your imagination. This will probably tell, uh, we're like, hey, uh, saw some strange stuff last night. Saw a race car out on the streets last night. Looked like your boys. Like, oh, dude, is a year. Get her gone. I gotta get back. Tommy Angela. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Righty, righty, Aphrodite. Hello, you. Break her a little bit. Make her not as uh, not as safe, not as fast. Before anyone catches on, go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. I like Lucas, but uh, I'm not too sure what his uh, point was. I feel like he's just layering on a little, little, uh, little thick. Oh damn! So it, yeah, she's gonna fucking miss fire real easy. Yeah, she's already fucking miss fire. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna need some speed though. Don't do it. Fucking okay, man, she's misbehaving. Player, you said you were gonna tune in a little bit, man. You butchered her. God damn. I wonder if they give you fucking three minutes. I'm trying to drive this more like you back will drive a man insane. Yeah, keep hitting your goofy horns. Well that when you send her, you can just keep like you can just send her again. Leave her cook for a minute. Apparently they have fucking cops as, uh, 
We have wizard scoffs around here. Sorry, lads. I get away, but... Car's not exactly behaving. tomorrow unless they also came to come get our guy's car and fuck his shit up. She's in alright position. No gun. Oh, no gun. Thank no Christ. gunshots. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Yes, sir. I accidentally fucked over our guy's car. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. Really? What the fuck, But he didn't call the cops. Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make him think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah. It's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. His jaw broke and his, his arm, arm. Broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win. But more importantly, oh. he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Oh, you gotta butter yeah. me up like that, Frank. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Well, shit, boys. Extra pound on my shoulder tonight. I can't just shoot him up. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. Let me guess I'm in last place. Or I'll tell me you got this off of the gas. Lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. They're off. Oh, Lord, oh, Lichtenberg's my. in trouble. There's something up with this car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Oh, crap. Son of a bitch. Hope for a safe trip today, folks. Save my arse. Sorry, lads. The last. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I gotta start taking some positions. I. I I was taking them and I. Oh, what the? What? Huh? 
not exactly anywhere, I'm literally in a fucking lost place. I'm not saying the races aren't my thing, but... Oh no, quite the collision over there! But they ain't exactly my favorite. Taylor, Anderson, Anderson. Oh, All still in the mix, with time still left to go. Damn, I just got a couple of positions. I don't want to lose them right away. Fuck you. Just took my place from him. Ralphie, I thought you had this bitch gas. Why do you got stompers in the middle of the track? Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. So I'm second to last. So if I don't get my shit on lock. Every time I think I got it, I go and fuck it up. But they're not that far ahead if I can just not crash. Don't hit that. Okay, well. Hey is fine. Hey is fine. Still got some time. All I got just gotta do is not fuck up for a minute. Be a little late to say that I got it, but it's a tight pack as they fight for first. Come on, if, if I could just get somebody else to like slip up real quick. Not long till it's all over, folks. McAllen's looking comfortable in first. No, fuck you, my guy. I apologize, but fuck you. I gotta take the lead from you, and I gotta keep it. I'm gonna keep it nice and clean if I can from here on out. Okay, I broke... I hit the brakes a little a bit too hard. Angelo right is still out in front. Can he hold on? Just for the sake of me and my knees. For the sake of everyone who put money on this, I we better hope so. I don't gotta be extra, I just gotta stay on the track. Tommy Angelo's in front, but will he stay there? That's yet to be seen. But here's open. I'm starting to get a little bit of a uh, lift. What's the gap? Gap. Anderson Gap's the word. I'm hoping they're going to be going to bed under tonight. Sorry, boys. The boss said he wanted a winner. So I got a fucking winner.
surprised the car didn't explode. <laughs> I honestly thought they messed with our car too. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now, if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Oh, thanks. Lucas, my man. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. Is that right? How dare you, Sarah? <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, I okay. fucking bet he is. I'll get him home safe. Find Polly. Man, Polly gets hella crunk. <laughs> so drunk because you know who dropped him off all day. Vinny. You're it's good, my meal, guy. Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the booze. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. When requested? I don't know. Damn. Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm looking. Hey, Ralph, my guy, how you doing? You, mama, made that look easy to Tommy. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it, didn't even make the finish. Ah. Magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure, sure, sure will, Tom. Thanks. See, I like that Tom's being nice to Ralph. Well, more people gotta be nice to Ralph. Hey, Frank. I Not pulled it off. Just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself Jim. and the family. I will not let the boss's day end solemnly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Well, I'm already on it, Frank. No worries. It's Polly ain't getting away from me. Hey, have a drink. I don't want to do it. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Is your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Can I, is there like a save? A sure thing. I don't mind losing a bit of progress. But yeah, that's going to be this episode everyone. Hope you enjoy but this is your boy Bloody Phantom 101 going back to the dead. Hope still you in the grave and don't forget, if you like the video, like, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.